In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed social media feeds from platforms like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter on your WordPress website. To do this, we'll be using the social feed plugins from Smashballoon. These plugins allow us to embed social media feeds from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube in fast and responsive feeds like this without needing any coding skills. Let's get started by embedding our Instagram feed on our WordPress website. To purchase and download the Smashballoon plugins, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download links for the plugins and your license key inside your Smashballoon account. To start off, let's download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to our WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, go hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro. Just like this and click install now. Once installed, go ahead and activate the plugin as well. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. And to save time, I've already gone ahead and installed YouTube Feed Pro, Twitter Feed Pro and Facebook Feed Pro as well. And if we proceed to create an Instagram feed, the first thing we have to do is activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice we have menus for each of the social feed plugins. Instagram feed, Twitter feed, Facebook feed and YouTube feed. To activate Instagram feed pro, hover over Instagram feed and click on settings. And here beside license key, we can go and paste the license key we got from our Smash Balloon account, like this, and click activate. As you can see, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our Instagram feed. Once again, on the left hand side under Instagram feed, go click on all feeds. And to get started, click on add new at the top. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different types of feeds. For example, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, we're going to continue with user timeline that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. And for this tip, we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on add source. This will take you into Facebook. And here you'll have to specify if your account is a personal or business account. Our account is a business account, so we can select it here like this. And then it's asking us if we've connected our Facebook account to the plugin before. If you're doing this for the first time, go click on no, and then click on connect with Facebook. This takes us into Facebook. And on this page, you can see all the Instagram accounts connected with our Facebook page. Go ahead and select the Instagram account you want to connect with Smash Balloon like this, and then click on next. And then you'll see all the Facebook pages associated with your Facebook account. Now select the Facebook page that's linked to your Instagram account like this and click next. And on this screen, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Go click on done and then click on OK. And lastly, all you have to do is confirm that this domain is yours. So you can go click on yes, it's my domain. Now you should see the accounts you added inside the plugin here. Go ahead and select the one you want to add as a source like this and click on add. Then you can select it as a source here and click on next. And for a final step, we can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and several more below. For this video, let's go ahead with a card grid template. So we can select it like this and click on next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Instagram feed and the card grid layout. You can see all the latest posts from our Smash Balloon Instagram account inside this feed. Before I show you how to embed this on our WordPress webpage, let me quickly show you how we can customize it. On the left hand side under the customize tab, click on feed layout. You can see currently we have the grid layout selected, which displays all your posts in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the carousel layout, which displays your posts in a swipeable carousel like this. And our third layout is the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns once again, but in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights one specific post at the top, followed by the wrist in a grid layout. Proceeding with the grid layout, if we look down below, we can also specify how many posts we want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, all we have to do is select it like this and type in the number of posts we want to display. And as you can see, that change will be made instantly inside our live preview on the right hand side. And just below that option, we can also customize how many columns are displayed on desktop, tablet and mobile. Modifying this is super easy as well. All you have to do is open it up like this and select the number of columns we want to display. Let's go ahead with three to display a really traditional Instagram feed. And instantly that change has already been made inside our live preview. And if you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette for your Instagram feed, go into color scheme under the customize tab. As you can see, currently it's set to inherit from theme. This means that Instagram feed pro will create your feed to automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you're happy with the color scheme of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to moderate the content you display on your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. If you go into moderate your feed and enable it, you can see that we have an allow list and a block list. Inside the allow list, all your posts will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you manually decide to show on your feed like this. Next, with the block list, all your posts will be shown by default, apart from the ones you manually chose to block like this. If we disable this and go back into filters and moderation, 
You can also add filters by specifying keywords to hide or show posts containing those words. And below that, we can also filter specific content types. For example, we can choose photos, feed videos, and reels. So you have complete control of the content you display on your Instagram feed. If you add any filters, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To embed it, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and then click on add to a page. Next, go and select the page you want to add your feed to. I'm going to select this one here and click on add. This brings us into our WordPress web page and to embed our feed, we have two different options. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly get a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside your WordPress web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live WordPress web page. And right in the middle, you can see that Instagram feed that we just created in the card grid template. All the latest posts from our Smash Balloon Instagram account are displayed in this beautiful feed. And at the bottom, if we click on load more, it will load even more posts directly inside our WordPress web page. And if a site visitor clicks on any of these posts, it will open up that post in a lightbox view along with the caption and buttons to share the post or view it on Instagram. Next, let's embed our Facebook feed on this WordPress website. I've already installed Facebook Feed Pro ahead of time and it's all ready for us here. The installation process was exactly the same as Instagram Feed Pro. To use the plugin on the left hand side, you'll notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it like this and click on All Feeds. Similar to Instagram Feed Pro, to get started, just click on Add New. And as you can see with Facebook Feed Pro, you can create several different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of photos from your Facebook albums, and so much more as well. For this video, let's embed our Facebook timeline and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on Next. For our next step, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Go click on Add New. And for the first step, we'll have to select the source type. And for this example, we're gonna embed the timeline from our Facebook page. Page is already selected for us there, so we can leave it as is and click on Connect to Facebook. And once again, this is going to bring us into Facebook and it's going to show you all the Facebook pages associated with your account here. And since we already connected our Facebook account when creating our Instagram feed, you can see that our Facebook page has already been selected here. If it's not selected, you can just go ahead and select it like this and click on Next. And once again, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Again, the only thing it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed. It's completely safe, so we can leave this as is and click on Done. And lastly, we can click on OK over here. You should now see all the Facebook pages that you've added as a source inside the plugin. We can go ahead and select the one we want to add as a source like this and click on add. And then we can select it as a source and click next. And on this tip, we'll have to select a theme for our Facebook feed. These themes give you a variety of different designs for your feed. You have options like the default, the modern one, social wall, outline, and overlap. For this video, I'm going to select the modern theme and click on next. And lastly, we'll have to select from one of these templates for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more below. For this video, I'm going to leave it as default and click on next. And almost instantly, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed right inside the plugin here. You can see all the latest Facebook posts on the Smash Balloon Facebook page. Once again, before we embed this on our WordPress web page, let me show you how we can customize our Facebook feed. On the left hand side under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. As you can see, currently we have the list layout selected, which displays your posts in a single column list like this. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays all your posts in rows and columns, just like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which displays your posts in a swipeable carousel, just like this. For this video, let's continue with the list layout. And if you look down below, you can also specify how many posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is select it like this and type in the number of posts you want to display. And instantly, that change will be made inside your live preview on the right hand side. Once you're happy with your feed layout, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header of your Facebook feed, go into header on the left hand side, and as you can see, currently we have the visual header selected, which shows your Facebook profile picture and cover photo at the top. Alternatively, you can go with the text header like this, which has a modifiable text header at the top here. And if you want to disable the header entirely, you can go and toggle it off here. But for this video, we're going to keep the visual header. And if you make any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. And just like Instagram Feed Pro, if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side, and you have the same options as an Instagram feed. You can go with inherit from theme, a light theme, dark theme, or even the custom one where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed just like this. And again, if you make any changes, make sure to go hit save on the top right corner. Facebook Feed Pro also provides similar filtering options too. Under the settings tab, click on filters. Here you can choose to display posts by page owner, page owner and visitors, or just from visitors. Then you can also specify if you want to show all posts or only show specific posts. And just below that, you can also filter posts based on specific words so that your feed displays or hides posts that contain those words. 
and at the bottom, you can also specify a specific date range to only show posts from that date range. And remember, if you add any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize your Facebook feed, let's go and embed it onto our WordPress webpage. So click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Once again, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. This is the exact same page where we embedded our Instagram feed earlier. If I scroll down to the bottom, we can embed our Facebook feed just below this one. To embed our Facebook feed, we have two different options. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied, or if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. And again, we instantly have a live preview for a new Facebook feed right inside our web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our page once again, and right at the top, we have the Instagram feed we added earlier. And now just below that, we have our Facebook feed as well. All the latest Facebook posts from Smash Balloon's Facebook page are displayed inside this feed. And similar to the Instagram one, if we go down all the way to the bottom and click on load more, it will load new Facebook posts directly inside our WordPress webpage. Now that we have our Instagram and Facebook feeds embedded on our WordPress webpage, let's continue with our YouTube feed. And once again, I've already installed YouTube feed pro ahead of time. So all we have to do is on the left hand side, find YouTube feed, hover over it like this and click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. And just like with the other two plugins, we'll have to first select our feed type. With YouTube feed pro, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you've favorited and more below. For this video, let's go ahead with the YouTube channel and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. And next, it will ask us to enter our YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you wanna learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click on add API key and paste it here like this, then click on add. And on our next step, we'll have to add the channel ID or username for the channel we wanna display on our feed. I've already copied the channel ID for Smash Balloon's YouTube channel, so I can paste it here like this and click on next. And just like with our Instagram and Facebook feeds, on our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. You can see that with YouTube Feed Pro, you have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, and more below. For this tutorial, I wanna show you how we can embed our YouTube feed into the sidebar of our website. So let's select the list template and click on next. And once again, we have a beautiful preview of our new YouTube feed right inside the plugin here. All the latest videos from our YouTube channel are displayed inside this feed. Once again, let me quickly show you how we can customize our feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, let's go into Feed Layout, and here you can see all the different layout options for YouTube Feed Pro. Currently, you can see we have the list layout selected, which displays your YouTube videos in a single column list like this. And for the first option, we have the Grid Layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the Gallery Layout, which highlights the thumbnail of one specific video at the top, followed by the rest of the videos in a grid layout below. And lastly, we have the Carousel Layout, which displays your videos in a swipeable carousel like this. For this video, let's continue with the list layout, and just below that, you can also specify how many videos you want to display inside that feed. Once you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, similar to Instagram and Facebook feed pro, you can also modify the color palette of your YouTube feed. To do this, go and click on color scheme. And as you can see, we have the same options as the other plugins. We can inherit our color scheme from our theme. We can use a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme and select the exact colors we want for our theme, just like this. And once again, if you're happy with the color scheme for your YouTube feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your YouTube feed, let's go and embed this onto the sidebar of our web page. To do this, go and click on embed just like before, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. And as you can see right here, we have our main sidebar. And to embed our YouTube feed into the sidebar, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier, or we can use a dedicated YouTube feed block just like this. With this option, you'll see a live preview of your YouTube feed directly inside the sidebar widget. Now let's go click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. Now on our live WordPress web page on the right hand side, you'll see we have a YouTube feed directly inside the sidebar. It's the same YouTube feed that we just created in the list layout. And you can also see we have a subscribe button here. So when site visitors click on subscribe, that takes them directly into our YouTube channel with a prompt here asking if they'd like to subscribe to our channel. And if we click on load more at the bottom, it will load even more YouTube videos directly inside our sidebar. And if a site visitor clicks on any of these videos, just like this, that video will open up and start immediately playing directly inside the sidebar. Next, let me show you how we can embed our Twitter feed on our WordPress website. Again, I've already installed an activated Twitter feed pro. And after you do that, on the left-hand side of your WordPress dashboard, you'll notice Twitter feed. Hover over it like this and click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. And that will bring you to the first step of creating your Twitter feed. With Twitter feed pro, you can create a feed of tweets from any user timeline, feed of tweets from any public hashtag, and a feed of tweets that match any specific search term too. For this video, let's continue with user timeline that's already selected for us here. 
we can go click on next. Then we'll have to enter the Twitter handle for the account we want to display on our feed. For this video, I'm going to embed the tweets from our Smash Balloon Twitter account. So I'm going to type in at Smash Balloon, just like this, and click on next. And similar to Instagram Feed Pro, Facebook Feed Pro, and YouTube Feed Pro, for the last step, we'll have to select the template we want for the layout of our Twitter feed. We have options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, and more below. For this example, I'm going to go with the simple carousel and click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our Twitter feed directly inside the plugin. Let me show you how to customize this before we go and embed it onto our WordPress website. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. With Twitter feed pro, you can select from one of these three different layout options. As you can see, currently we have the carousel layout selected, which lets you swipe through your tweets like this. Alternatively, you can go with the list layout, which displays your tweets in a single column list like this. And next we have the masonry layout, which displays your tweets in rows and columns like this and their original sizes. In this video, we're going to continue with the carousel layout. And if I look down below, we have some options to customize the carousel layout too. We can enable the navigation arrows you see on the right and left hand sides, these ones here. Next, we have the pagination dots, which you can find at the bottom of the feed here. And lastly, you can also enable autoplay which automatically swipes through your Twitter feed just like this. Below that, you can also choose how many rows you want in your Twitter feed. To change this, all you have to do is open it up like this, and you can change it to two rows instead of one. And once you're happy with the layout of your Twitter feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify how the tweets are displayed inside your feed, go and click on tweets on the left hand side. Then go into edit individual elements. As you can see here, you have all the different elements inside each tweet. You have the author, tweet text, date, and more below. If you want to hide any of these elements, all you have to do is unselect it like this, and that will hide it inside that tweet. For this example, we're going to embed this Twitter feed inside the footer of our website. So I'm going to leave our media deselected like this, and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header of your feed, go into header on the left hand side. And as you can see, we currently have the text header selected, which you can modify down below. Alternatively, you can go with the standard header, which displays your Twitter profile picture, Twitter bio, as well as the number of tweets and the number of follows at the top here. But if you want to disable the header entirely, you can go and disable it up here like this. I'm going to leave it like that, and if you make any changes, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Twitter feed, let's go and embed this into our WordPress footer. To do this, go click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on add to a widget. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu, and as you can see at the top, we have the main sidebar with the YouTube feed that we just added earlier. We're going to scroll down into the footer section, and as you can see, we have footer builder widget. I'm going to open that up. To embed our feed, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a Twitter feed block, or we can use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier like this. Now we can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And now on our live WordPress web page, right at the top we have the Instagram feed we added initially, and we have the Facebook feed we added, and right at the bottom inside our footer, we have our brand new Twitter feed embedded directly inside the footer widget. And this one is a swipeable carousel, so you can go click on these buttons here to swipe through your tweets just like this. So you've successfully learned how to add an Instagram feed, Facebook feed, YouTube feed and Twitter feed all to your WordPress website. But it doesn't stop there though. Using the Smash Balloon social wall plugin, you can combine feeds from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter into one single feed just like this. If you want to check it out, make sure to click on the link in the description of this video. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.